Hi everyone, it's me guy that does everything with another interesting video in which I will be testing what really happens if you use a lower wattage power supply to run a high-end GPU along with your system. And in order to test the power supply performance and voltage stability, I will be using a mini digital oscilloscope. So let's begin. So as you all know, power supply is one of the most important part in every PC and I have seen a lot of people spending so much money on the CPU and GPU but spending so little when it comes to the power supply. So I wanted to show you guys what really happens when you do something like that. So for the testing purpose, I have got GTX 1080 Ti from Industech.pk and I'm using it with 550 watts 80 plus power supply. And guess what? It is running the benchmark absolutely fine without any problem. But there is a huge hidden risk and problem running setup like this. And in order to see what that hidden problem is, I have connected the oscilloscope directly to the PCIe power connectors. So right now the oscilloscope is showing very clean and stable 12 volt signal without any spikes and fluctuations. But watch what happens when I put the load on the GPU by starting up the game. There you go. As you can clearly see, the 12 volt signal line is not stable anymore. It is having so much spikes and fluctuations. That means this power supply cannot handle the load of this GPU and that is why it is continuously dropping down the 12 volt signal. And this can be very dangerous in a long run for your system because your power supply will start heating up to the point where it can potentially blow up its capacitors and MOSFETs that may lead to the failure of other PC parts as well. But what if you have a mid-range GPU? Will this power supply be fine for that? Well, yes. I tested it with my GTX 1060 and as you can clearly see, the voltage stability is absolutely fine under full load. So as for the conclusion, don't go cheap and always buy a good brand and more than recommended wattage power supply. And that is it. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, then give it a like because you don't usually see these kind of practical testing videos on the YouTube. Just show this guy some love, alright? And I will see you with the next one. Bye.